There are three big mindsets that nearly all highly successful people adopt over the course of their lives. All three of these mindsets are counterintuitive and completely different from the way that most people think. The last one in particular is rare because it goes directly against the basic tendencies of the human ego. In this video, I'll explain what these mindsets are, how successful people think about them and how to utilise them in practical situations. When most people take action, they only have vague goals. When highly successful people set out on a certain course of action, they know exactly why they're doing it and what result they're aiming for. If someone is totally clear about why they're doing something, they can explain the precise chain of events that they expect to result from it. Here's how the why of highly successful people differs from that of most people. Average person. I'm going to order the salmon because it's healthy. Highly successful person. I'm eating salmon because it has half as many calories as a burger, more protein, it's equally filling and has omega 3s. I'll lose weight by eating fewer calories, plus I'll have more energy and cleaner arteries. Average person. I'm writing this article to get more exposure and build my following. Highly successful person. I'm writing this article so people will read it, click through to my landing page and join my newsletter. Then I'll build trust and engagement by sending them a bunch more great self-improvement advice and after a while I can sell my fitness courses to them. Average person. I'm going to this business event to do some networking. Highly successful person. I'm going to this business event to meet people who are knowledgeable about online marketing. That's a weakness of mine, so I'm hoping the people I can meet can teach me more about it. Notice how much more specific and detailed the intentions of highly successful people are. Now, this doesn't mean they're not open to serendipity. It doesn't mean they wouldn't be open to meeting someone other than a marketing guru at their networking event, or ordering a salad instead of salmon. It means they have a well thought out plan with a clear rationale. Most people do good things that seem like good ideas, in the hope that something good will happen. Highly successful people are always open to unexpected opportunities, but first and foremost, they have a clear and detailed plan A. Most people look at a broken window and think about how much it sucks that someone's window got broken. But successful people look at that same window and wonder how much money they could make fixing windows. Every problem, whether our own or somebody else's, offers an opportunity. At the very least, it can be a learning experience and a chance to grow as a person. But very often, there's an opportunity for more tangible benefit. For instance, most people would get angry if their flight was cancelled, leaving them stranded on an island until the next day. But when that happened to Richard Branson, he realised that all of his fellow passengers were stranded as well, and that gave him an opening. He chartered a plane, selling seats to his fellow passengers to cover the cost. Branson made it home on time and in style with a tidy profit to boot. Then, having validated the idea with very little risk, he started an airline. Most people become upset when they encounter difficulty, but successful people look at the problem and think, hmm. This isn't what people usually think of as optimism. It's not a generalised faith that things will work out on their own. The opportunity mindset is something completely different. A problem is still a problem, but it also offers an opportunity that can be seized if you take action. This is the most counterintuitive of the three success mindsets. It's also the most emotionally difficult. It goes against human nature and against your ego. Highly successful people want everything that goes wrong to be their fault. We all want the future to be in our control, but most people like to think that their past failures were outside of their control, that nothing was their fault. Overweight people want to believe they just have an incurably slow metabolism. Poor people want to believe the system is rigged against them. Chronically single people want to believe there are no good partners out there. The problem with this is, the problems you've had in the past are largely the same ones you'll have in the future. So if a past failure was not your fault, that also means it's not within your power to fix it. You're screwed. The most successful people in the world actively look for reasons why their failures were their own fault. They'd rather take the ego hit of shouldering the blame if it means they can find a way to improve their lives by fixing something. These mindsets are difficult to adopt. For most of us, they go directly against our instincts. But with time, you can make them your own by sheer force of habit. Every time you make a non-trivial decision, whether it's a major life decision like taking a new job, or something fairly routine like deciding where to eat, think through why you're doing it and exactly what you expect to get out of it. 
Every time you either have a problem or witness a problem that isn't yours, take a few seconds to ask yourself what potential opportunity it presents. That opportunity doesn't have to be one that you would necessarily want to take advantage of, it just needs to be an opportunity. Every time something goes wrong in your life, think about why it happened and look for something you could have done that might have prevented it. Then, figure out how you can do better next time.